Okay, how to find the parabola features given the graph. A parabola can be drawn given a focus of negative 5, negative 1, and a directrix of y equals negative 7. What can be said about the parabola? So they're giving us two things. They're giving us the focus, that's right here. And they're giving us the directrix, which is at y equals negative 7. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7. This is the directrix. And this is the focus. Negative 5, negative 1. So we know that halfway between the focus and the directrix is the vertex of the parabola. So if we have one, two, three, four, five, six units between the directrix and the focus, halfway between is going to be here. So what is this coordinate? Hmm, negative five, one, two, three, four. Negative five, negative four, right? So then I can actually sketch my parabola. The parabola has to go up because the parabola can never go through the directrix. And the focus is always in the middle of the parabola. Okay. So my vertex is negative 5, 4. The focus is negative 5, 1, and the directrix is y equals negative 7. So what's my p? The p is the distance between the vertex and the focus. So since we go up to get to the focus, p is positive. And 1, 2, 3, p is positive 3. If the parabola was facing downwards, P would be negative because we would have to go down to get to the focus. Okay? So, I think that's all we need. Let's fill in the blanks. The parabola has a vertex at, so we found the vertex, at negative 5, 4. The X value of the focus and the vertex are going to be the same. The y value is going to be 3 more. So the vertex is negative 5, negative 4. And it has a p value of 3. And the parabola, it opens up. Okay, that's it.